Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday. It is August 30th, and this is your third reading. Um, I asked, what do they want me to talk about today? So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So what they want me to talk about today for this reading is being flexible. So it's really difficult in human form to be in this flexible energy because we're impatient. We expect immediate gratification. We expect that, for example, if we learn to manifest, that when we manifest, it's going to be delivered in our driveway or at our front door within 24 hours. So flexibility, part of flexibility is patience, perseverance, um, maintaining a high vibration, learning how to overcome your intrusive thoughts, redirecting your thoughts, and continuing to heal while you're in this flexible energy, being open to how your blessings come in, being patient on the Lord, not trying to rush it, not trying to control the situation. They're trying to get you to work on being more flexible because with time to go, you're moving on into a new timeline. Okay, things are going to align for you. You haven't missed an opportunity. You haven't missed your blessings. They're going to arrive exactly when they're supposed to. Okay, sometimes there are more things that we need to learn in order to call in what it is we're manifesting. For some of you, it's a divine partner with yang. It could be a masculine or a feminine. But you have to just breathe and relax and surrender, um, being more flexible, okay? Let's see what they want us to know about this. Why this is the subject of conversation today. Let's just see. Some of you, I know, it's difficult. You know, as humans, we're not meant to be alone. We're not meant to go through this life alone. And so that just adds to the anxiety of, I don't have a partner. I still don't have a partner. But when you indulge in that energy of fear, anxiety, stress, trying to control it, you're actually pushing the one thing that you want the most away from you. Okay? Tell me, why do you want to talk about flexible Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors? Yeah, they said use your intuition. You need to spend this time developing your connection with the Lord, with the spiritual realm. You know, that's what they want you to focus on. Instead of why you haven't received what you're asking for. Relying on your intuition to overcome your fear. Your worries. Nurture that bond with the spiritual realm. Of course you're meant to have a partner. Of course you're meant to be loved. We aren't created to be alone. That's not how God created us. But you have to overcome this fear and anxiety that's in you, that it's never coming. I've been alone for a year, two years, three years, however long. It's your own energy that pushes away the one thing that you desire the most. Take your focus off of it. Focus on something that's going to, like your intuition, that you're going to be able to nurture, grow um, that connection so that you can trust more. You know, in your own intuition, you can overcome the fears. You can release yourself from the stress and anxiety. Yeah, see, this is this is lower vibrational energy, dark forces that try to keep you out of alignment by putting you in the energy of stress and anxiety and fear, worry. My manifestation's not going to come in. My my divine partner's not going to come in. Learning to enjoy the journey and not the destination, which I know that can be so annoying for people to hear, but it's true. It's one step at a time. It's one day at a time. It's having, it's living in the moment and enjoying the moment. Not worrying about the past and not worrying about the future. But in this day, in this moment, you know. Yeah, you know, you're overcoming the ten of swords. The worst is behind you. It is, it, you are released from this karmic cycle because of your awakening, okay? You have overcome it. So they're asking you to remain in, a, in a, a peaceful state in this flexible energy um, while you are in waiting for your manifestation, okay? Yeah. 
Make the decision to focus on your healing each and every day. Focus on your inner light, whether it's prayer, meditation, being in nature. That's what they want you to do right now. Because good news is coming. Good news is coming. Yeah, and it may shock you. This good news will be a shocking surprise. This good news is there is a past life soul connection, a love of a lifetime that is destined to come into your, into your reality. You will move on with this person. You could travel. You could relocate with this person. They are destined to come into your life. It is your manifestation. For some of you, it's not romance. For some of you, it's a business opportunity. You know, stability. Whatever it is for you. They're saying, nurture your connection with the divine to overcome your fear and anxiety, overthinking and stress. This is intrusive thoughts that the enemy is trying to create to keep you stuck, stagnant, and in fear, a lower vibration. The worst is behind you. From whatever you've experienced in the past, is the worst is behind you. Your awakening did that for you. Make the decision to focus on your healing, your inner light, and that connection with the Lord, and good news will come in that will shock you. This will be a past life connection or something you've wanted since childhood. But you're going to make plans and you're going to move forward when this happens. Okay? Yeah, that's the truth. This is a victory for you. This is a new beginning that you deserve. You deserve this. Stay in quiet contemplation. Focus on self-love. Focus on empowerment. Get out of the energy of sadness. Okay? Things will pick up for you once you stand in your power. New doors will begin opening for you that lead to financial stability and everlasting joy and happiness. This is your fate and destiny. This is a destined union, partnership that is meant to come in. Stop holding on to the fear that it will happen. It won't come in. It will never be yours. Stop holding on to the fear around money. Let it go. Surrender it. Ask your spirit guides and the angels to give you advice on what you need to do. A solution. They will give you a solution. It will pop into your mind. You will dream about it. They will give you a solution. If you're struggling financially, ask your spirit guides and the angels to give you a solution. And they will. They will give you ways to overcome it. How you need to deal with it. If it's, it's, if it's around love, ask your spirit guides, what do I need to be doing? You know, how can I navigate through this period of waiting? They're going to give you all the answers. I promise you they're going to give you the answers. You have to do your part by getting out of the energy of stress and anxiety and fear. Okay? Let me get some from this deck, guys. What advice do you have for the collective regarding this flexible energy that they need to be in? You're being called into service. They're guiding you on a path that's destined for you. If you don't know what it is, ask your guides to show you what is my destined path and purpose. Ask Jesus to show you. He will. Make me passionate about what I'm meant to be passionate for. Inspire me. Show me. Embrace the dark. Shine your true light upon this earth. You have nothing to fear. Nothing. Shine your true light upon this earth. Being your true authentic self. Focusing on your healing. Focusing on your connection with Jesus. Trust in your new path because everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to. Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. If it's finances that you're worried about, you have to be in the energy of abundance. You can't be in the energy of lack. If you're in the energy of lack, you will have more lack. There is nothing impossible with God. You could be in the worst kind of debt. There is nothing impossible with God. Absolutely nothing. Pray about it. Ask for it. And believe it. You don't need to know how it's going to come to you or how the problem will be solved. You just need to trust that it will be. Because miracles happen. Thank you, Spirit. 
Give the universe your clear intention. Do you see? That's exactly what they're saying. You know, you guys, some of you say that you believe. You have faith and you pray. But then when you pray about the one thing you're most concerned about, then you hold on to the worry. That's not faith. That's not faith. And trust me, I have been guilty of it too. I'm not pointing the finger at all. I have been guilty of this too. But when you see how truly giving your worries, praying about the solution, giving your worries to, to Jesus, to the divine, and you truly release it and how it's resolved, you'll never go back to being the old way of giving it and then holding on to it. I trust, but I'm going to be afraid. Shift your perspective. Perspective. No longer holds power over you. Dissolve attachments in the past with love. Some of you, the fear around money or relationship is from the past. And it's something that you need to release. You are not, no longer the past version of you. So why hold on to the same mindset, the same thoughts, the same patterns, the same fears? Because it's time for you to do it differently. Thank you, Spirit. Go beyond what you've done before. That way didn't work for you. Holding on to it, trying to control it, being in fear, it didn't work for you. It's time for you to do it different. What do you have to lose? The old way isn't working. You don't have anything to lose. What does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart's desire. And then it says, enjoy where you are, for soon you will be somewhere else. I'm telling you, when you get in the flexible energy, when you're patient, when you're open, when you stop, tr stop trying to force the situation and overthinking and stressing and holding on to fear and anxiety and lack, poverty consciousness, you allow the spiritual realm to work in your favor to make things happen. You know, who I got a knot in my throat. Who's been upset today? Who's been crying over money or love? Because I feel a knot in my throat big time. Flexible. They said they want you to listen to what they're saying in this reading. They want you to pay attention to this guidance because they are moving you on. They want you to change the way you think change the what you do um it's going to make it a huge difference for some of you you're manifesting a relocation a new home or a change in your home more stability even your intuition nurture that connection with the lord with this spiritual realm and your intuition is going to give you all the answers the solutions to your problems Yep. Meditate. Pray. Stay connected. You're going to get the answers. I'm telling you. I feel this so strongly today. You're going to get all the answers. It's just going to pop in your mind. For some of you, while you're in the shower, you know, water is a good conductor of psychic energy. For some of you, it's love. You're going to get an answer, whether it's a fear around money, fear around relationship. You're going to have happiness and success, but you got to step out of your comfort zone to do this. You got to, you have to change the old way of existing, thinking, believing, feeling. You're going to have to do that. You had an awakening. It's time for you to change everything, not just certain parts of you, all of you. Okay. You guys, I love it. I love this because I really feel like somebody out there needs to hear this and it's going to make a difference. And I want to hear about it. It's going to make a difference when they do this. Yeah, you've transformed. Balance will be restored. Balance will be restored in your life. For the collective. Start with gratitude. If you're in financial lack, instead of being in fear, start going around and giving thanks and gratitude. You have a dollar in your account. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that dollar. I am so grateful that I have a dollar in my account. I am so grateful. I mean it. And watch what happens. Surrender it to the Lord. I can do nothing about this, Lord, but I know you can. I surrender this debt. I surrender the fear around not having love. 
I surrender it completely to you and truly surrender it and watch what happens. Continue to work on your shadow side. Self-limiting beliefs, fear, control, whatever it is that you've struggled with in the past, they don't want you to give up on healing on that. Every day we heal. Every single day we are consciously aware of negative thought processes, fears, anxiety. They want you to continue to work on it. Continue to operate in integrity, honesty, loyalty, and integrity. Doing the right thing for you. What's right for you? And belief. Have faith. That's when transformation occurs. That's when your problems are solved. Wow, guys, I love you so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I also have a Virgo channel. It's called The Gifted Dragonfly on YouTube. And if you're interested in scheduling a private reading with me, um, you can, or meeting to people, you can check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of the YouTube. Have an amazing day. I love you. Bye-bye.